Shoo! Before we jump into it, gotta let you know that Husk is sponsoring today's video. Made from high quality Japanese inspired stainless steel, Husk has crafted the best outdoor camping knife. This knife features a rustic style oak handle and a 38 degree blade edge for extreme sharpness. The curved blade with a grip hole enables better precision and handling to make chopping and cutting easy. This knife right here is great for fishing, hunting, camping, and in the kitchen. You can see right here how sweet it looks. I mean, this thing is crazy. These husk knives come out of the box razor sharp and they stay razor sharp for years. But just don't take my word for it, I've got this apple right here to show you guys. Just look how easy this cuts this apple. It's literally like butter. This thing's light, sturdy, and durable. The best part is Husk has a no worry 30 day money back guarantee so it's literally risk free. And right now Husk is running a 70% off sale just for you guys if you click the link down in the description down below. And remember trying Husk is risk free 30 day money back guarantee. All you gotta do is click the link down in the description down below. For a limited time they're offering 70% off and this deal will not last long. So remember click the link down in the description down below. Check out a Husk knife yourself and we'll see you guys at the ranch. Shoo! And we're back doing more duck chores here folks if you guys saw the previous video we outfitted our enclosed trailer ready filled with decoys and we got this boat out of there now we're continuing this into another video that's specifically about getting some blinds put out at the duck place so we've got this blind right here remember we put this thing together last year really a huge pain to put it together but it's a nice blind we're going to drag this thing out not to the island but near the island and this is going to be kind of our permanent set up for kind of a north wind um, hopefully northwest wind would be all right too and we're going to get this thing drug out there the canvas put on grass it in we want it to look amazing like we're gonna really take our time and get this thing looking nice and then we got to go back to the og duck farm we got to go pull one of those blinds because that place is bone dry so those blinds don't do anything grab one of those blinds and we need to cover it in some type of mesh something that will kind of That'll be easy for grassing it. And we gotta cover it in there, and then we gotta drag it out here and then grass it. So today's episode is gonna be specifically for you people that like to duck hunt and wanna see what it's like to get a couple blinds put out on this property, some more permanent blinds, because all we've been running around are the little portable um, you know, panel blinds and stuff like that, which aren't bad, but when it starts to get cold and you wanna conceal four or five people, it's nice to have big permanent blinds. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We got the tank hooked up to it, it's on skids. We're gonna drag it out there, wrap it, grass it, brush it, go back, grab another one, make it some type of DIY mesh because it doesn't have any loops like this one will. And then we'll probably put that one maybe on the south end. So we're gonna put this one for a north wind, the other one for a south wind. We should be in business. You guys stay tuned. here but I, I don't know north wind come like this you get a lot of north and northwest and this is the corner for that what do you how's the ground is it pretty flat yeah it's pretty flat right here so I mean, we'll just here. brush the hell out of it yeah the thing is that yeah that stuff has a good backdrop you know mm -hmm. should we just put it as close to the bank there as we can with that high backdrop you think that's the best yeah okay all right we'll pull it around <laughs> Pull past it because we're gonna have to scrape. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. I like I like having a little little more over there versus the corner. I think that's not bad. Kind of, yeah, and then you you can't do anything to to the right. You're yeah. kind of dead end with the guy that's shooting on the right has. Yeah, he nothing. he has not he has because they're just gonna they'll probably yeah. peel it out. No, this is good. And you could always pivot this thing too, you know, if you needed to. Then it doesn't have to be perfectly flush. If you wanted to face a little more, you could. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we gotta level this thing because it's not super level. All right, let's get to digging. Yeah, it's 
not actually that bad. No. Oh. Just... Need like a foot wide trench. That's it. About ten yeah, foot. Ten foot long. Remember, we lost one of those in the oh. storm. So one end's a little short. I mean, I looked around for it. I think it ended up in the riverbed. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Just sits in there, huh? Yep. Okay. 
gosh. Oh, God. This is, this is, look at all this room. This is the deal here. Maybe a little grill going. Yeah, chef mm -hmm. it. Oh, this is nice. This is the deal. Like that it. was probably the cheapest chair. How's it feel? Fine? Pretty good. I like it. Good enough to hunt deer out of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. Love it. All right, let's go get some brush. All right, we're getting the grasses going. Argo died, so we got her fixed up. Trimming bushes or what? Yeah, driving all these bundles in there. She cuts it. That looks nice. Throw it in there. All right. So once that's full, then we can have we have two guys run, start brushing it, and then keep cutting. All right, I'll once, you want me to bring that to you? Okay. We'll run this so we can get started. Just take this next sled and we'll just come back. Rope's on this and I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. All right. Okay. You wanna hop in, pull that thing forward and, I'll, and then I'll hook up to it. Make sure I make it flat here. It's a break it to get a clean end. Well, he bends it over so it goes through. Yeah. Easier. I, didn't, I never knew that. He does amazing job. Yeah. I remember last year. Like, wow. Yeah, looks good.
Start helping out. You got two sleds? Good. Yeah, I got two sleds, guys. And there's the bottom ones like this. Oh, yeah, to cover that bottom. One done. Oh yeah, so sucker's looking mint. What's that? Cut some more. thing you can't even see it you wouldn't even know there's a blind there Whew, like three hours later it looks like that it's pretty that's a pretty blood today and you can't really tell from here but oh yeah it's sticking up a little high but from the back side it's actually level look at that it literally looks like you're just sitting inside the berm <laughs> like you can't even tell <laughs> did pretty did pretty good I think put in the time got her done got some willow trees put in there and uh, got the whole thing completely covered 
that's what a blind's supposed to look like. Just takes four guys like four hours. But we, hey, we got it done. So blind number one, check. On to blind number two. All right. So he found it. It's a few days later. Flair's out doing other stuff today. So it's me and Nate. We're here at the OG farm looking for this duck blind and we found it. <laughs> it's in the middle of what used to be the old riverbed down here that is completely dry. And this thing was out in the middle of it. So honestly, thank God it's drier. We wouldn't be able to come get it. Usually you'd be up to like your waist in water right here. So, so yeah, we just got to carry this guy. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that that's him right there. It's the blind. We gotta get him. Stinks. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. E. Probably use a power wash. A little bit. He'll be alright. Just a duck blind. Yeah, we gotta get this thing up on to that trailer, and then we're gonna take that down to the new duck farm. Set this out. We got some woven wire. We're gonna wrap around it and then grass this whole thing up so it's ready to go. That's the plan. Yeah, the back side's the heavy side. We should probably just Grab the core. probably just lay it on its back and carry it that way. There it is. All right. Is there a door? Is it that oh, that was one I grabbed. All right, I got it. You want to come up here? Yep, get a hold of it. Not quite. Just a little more. <laughs> Keep going. There it is. All right. She's in. There it is. She's on. She's not clean, she's not pretty, but she's on. All right, let's head to the new duck farm. We're gonna get this thing set out, wrapped, and grassed in as best we can. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, we got the blind down here to the new duck farm. You can see the trailer and the side-by-side -side over there and everything. And we got this woven wire we're gonna roll out. This has four by four openings. We're gonna roll out pieces of this that we're gonna wrap around this blind and zip tie it to the blind so that we have something that we can put grass and tree branches, things like that in to cover this thing up. And once we get it wrapped in this, we're gonna take it over to the spot and get it set in place and get it leveled out. And then we're gonna go cut a bunch of grass and get it looking like a bush. So we gotta start cutting this, getting it zip tied to this. You guys stay tuned.
there it is all wrapped up we got the whole thing wrapped in that four by four woven wire so there's something to put grass into all the way up we got it on the top too all the way around we secured the door back on with some pieces of wire that we just cut and it works it's not pretty but it'll get the job done so now that we got it all wrapped up completely we're gonna take it all the way down way 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 down there in the south end and we're gonna set it up for a south southwest wind and we're gonna get it leveled put in place and we're gonna take this trailer and the side by side and we're gonna go cut a bunch of grass and then we're gonna get it all grass in and ready to go so stay tuned There it is, it's final resting place. Right up here on the west bank, down here in front of the south bay, wells right over there. Get this thing set up for a west or a southwest wind, any of those, south, southwest, any of those will work. And it's all secure, it's in place. Down in here, we got it all leveled out, packed in, so it's sitting nice and flat. We got a nice little high bank back here behind it. So all that's left now is we got to go cut a bunch of grass and grass it in. So stay tuned, we're almost there. All right, there it is, all done. Completely grassed in, ready to hunt out of. Didn't take us very long. But get this side and this is where the door is. We got hooked back up, go right in there. She's ready to go. Old blind, resurrected, 
found it today in the middle of the riverbed pulled it out and now it's looking like this ready to kill some more ducks